Despite somewhat rocky beginnings for both platforms, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One became home to some of the most celebrated games of all time. While we're all really excited to see what the new generation has in store, we'd be remiss if we didn't take a proper look back at the era we're leaving behind. Though we were tempted to try and formally rank them, it's obvious that there are just too many amazing games to crown one as the best. So after extensive internal debate among practically the whole IGN staff, we came up with a list of top 100 games from last generation consoles. You can check out the full list on IGN.com, but here are, in no particular order, 12 of our favorite games of the PS4 and Xbox One generation. Final Fantasy XIV was given a second life with Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn, improving on the performance, gameplay, story, and pacing problems of its predecessor in monumental ways. It masterfully weaves the lore of Final Fantasy games into story and gameplay that feels like a natural fit for the MMORPG format, having appeal that spans across both fans of the series and the genre. With meaningful patches that continuously improve gameplay, a generous free-to-play trial, several races, classes, and jobs to choose from, and a story that only seems to get better with each expansion, FF14 A Realm Reborn stands out as one of the best MMORPGs of our time. It's got a dope soundtrack, too. Become the warrior of darkness. Open-world RPGs are known for their size and scope, but even so, The Witcher 3 is astonishingly massive. This game contains multitudes. It has a content-spanning story and dozens of twisty side quests. The combat and upgrade paths are rewarding, thanks in part to the varied beasts you'll encounter, the in-world game Gwent was such a hit it became a separate, standalone game of its own, and topping it all off, every inch of The Witcher 3's dark fantasy world is utterly gorgeous. Many games are quick to teach us how to play them or what they're about. Bloodborne plays hard to get, burying its story in the margins and hiding entire sections of its brilliantly designed world and guarding both with a gauntlet of viciously challenging enemies. But while Dark Souls is rooted in somewhat familiar medieval fantasy, Bloodborne starts as dusty gothic horror before taking a hard left into slimy cosmic Lovecraftian territory. Cribbing from the Mountains of Madness and the Shadow over Innsmouth, among others, and bringing numerous great old ones to life better than any other visual medium to date. Bloodborne is a notoriously difficult, often obtuse game, but as any player who's conquered it can attest, it's also a downright singular one. Really, the worst thing about Bloodborne is playing any other game afterwards and hoping for the same experience. Rocket League is, quite simply, car soccer. The simplicity of its fundamentals wrote its recipe for success. Casual gamers can pick up the controls and get it instantly, while pros master boosting around the arena to dominate the field from the ground to the air. Its arcade-style driving juiced up with ensuing vehicular mayhem is why, five years on, it's one of the top esports in the world, with no sign of pumping the brakes anytime soon. Overwatch is a one-of-a-kind hero shooter and a masterpiece of competitive gameplay that is far and away the best of its genre. It offers variety, depth, and style that very few come close to matching. Every inch of it is bursting with character, from its now-cherished cast and expertly crafted maps to outstanding sound design and uniquely dynamic action. Most importantly of all, though, it's never stopped being ridiculously fun after all these years. Winston? Is that you, love? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it has. Though we'd already seen some gorgeous PS4 games, 2017's Horizon Zero Dawn, aka the time Killzone developer Guerrilla Games finally got to stretch its wings, was the most stunning yet. This was the game you'd put on to show off what the PS4 could do, especially in 4K, with its gorgeous vistas and dinosaur-like machines that towered over protagonist Aloy. It didn't just look good, either. Zero Dawn's main activity, combat, was a wonder thanks to the variety of machines and the plethora of ways in which you could down them. Throw in a wonderful performance from Ashley Birch, an intriguing dystopian story, and tons of side quests, and you've got a game of the generation for sure. But they warn us that this balance cannot last. Ooh. 
Set in Rockstar's most authentic and lived-in world ever, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an absolutely sprawling western and Rockstar's most patient and polished game to date. Boasting a thoughtful and earnest story buoyed by excellent performances, Red Dead Redemption 2 captures the true grit of the outlaw era. The gameplay asks a lot of the finite amount of buttons on a controller, but the frantic close quarters gun battles feel personal and dangerous, and movement is smooth and grounded. More than anything, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game of rare detail, with an astonishing array of unique encounters and opportunities, a deep well of period-authentic items and sound effects, and every nook and cranny of its immense map lovingly massaged with handcrafted flourishes. Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. Sony Santa Monica's modern revamp of God of War, a franchise historically known for sidelining emotional resonance in favor of good old-fashioned skull-crushing combat, is a miracle for working as well as it does. Kratos was always a gruff, angry video game protagonist, but by exploring his relationship with his son in the wake of a shared loss, 2018's God of War was able to explore deeper and more human components to the character and how his actions, vulnerability, and grief impact his ability to be a father and a role model. Just as importantly though, the game manages to balance all that with a bold new overhaul of the series' signature combat set against the backdrop of one of the most lush and extraordinary video game worlds ever created. Yes, God of War has a ton of heart, but it's also an absolute joy to play, explore, and conquer. Can you kill something that big? Apex Legends dropped without a single marketing campaign or ad post, and it's one of the best Battle Royale games available. Using elements from Titanfall and Titanfall 2, Apex continuously drives unique and creative mechanics into its games, including the smooth movement fans loved in the Titanfall series. Apex pushed the boundaries as the first battle royale to have characters who have unique set abilities. Apex was also the first battle royale to include a ping system where players could communicate non-verbally and also provided more accessibility features. Apex also has the best ongoing narrative that digs into what happened after Titanfall 2. Overall, Apex Legends is one of the best innovative battle royales of this generation. Shots fired. Sending out my decoy. Forza Horizon 4 takes almost everything that made Forza Horizon 3 the best racer in its class. The stunning visual fidelity and sound design, the massive array of automobiles from all over the world, and the extensive and completely customizable career mode, and supercharges it with a map that supports shifting seasons and a never-ending stream of fresh challenges. With new free cars available almost every week, Forza Horizon 4 hasn't stopped growing since its launch in 2018. Forza Horizon 4 is more than just the heavyweight champion of open world racing, it's the highest rated Microsoft exclusive for Xbox One ever. Capcom has rebooted, remixed, and rehabilitated the Resident Evil franchise repeatedly for decades now. But Resident Evil 2, one of, if not the most beloved game in the series, had largely been left alone. That's one reason why 2019's Resident Evil 2 remake is so successful. It doesn't gut the framework of what makes the game fantastic to begin with, but rather modernizes it, fleshes it out, and creates an experience that fans of the original masterpiece and newcomers to the survival horror franchise alike adore. With completely remade graphics, camera, and controls, it course-corrected the parts of the original that hadn't aged well while honoring the character's enemies and jump scares that helped define the game to begin with. The result is a masterclass in survival horror that celebrates the classic and builds the franchise towards the future. Trust me! Shovel Knight is the game your brain thinks it remembers about the golden age of platformers. Better than nostalgia is its execution of the not-quite-8-bit style and a banging soundtrack that utilizes more sound channels than an NES was capable of. Shovel Knight is the evolution of over 30 years of platforming design, distilled down to not one, but five fully featured games that each promise to cement themselves as the games you'll look back on when you're old and gray and think, video games were good back then. Now remember, those are just a few of our favorite games from the PS4 and Xbox One era in no particular order. You can see the full list of top 100 games of the generation on IGN.com. What games are on your list that might not have made ours? Let us know in the comments, and for everything coming up in this new generation of gaming, you are already in the right place. IGN.